Hello boys and girls, Perlo Wisdom here from BPOW Picks. And today I'm going a little different route. Not actually throwing you out a pick. Um, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to do this over the summer. We're going to talk a lot of NHL stuff. Um, it's been an interesting conversation I've been having about how organizations treat their players, especially when it comes to trades. And I got a question for you. I want you to comment in the comment section here. And then I'll explain myself as I go. Because I did a Twitter, and you can go on my Twitter. It's uh, Perlo's NHL POW, at Perlo's NHL POW. You can go grab me on Twitter, and I sent a poll out there. The first thing I asked is, if you were a player, and you happen to be in the NHL, would you go to a organization that treated the players well or better than another one? Did you knew that they were going to treat you well if you went there? Um, where maybe another one might treat you well, but not as well. Okay. Um, then I put a, so I put a poll out and everybody goes, yeah, I'll go to the one that treats me well. All right. Second part. The organize, um, as an organization... Would you, if, would you be okay if your team took less in a trade to take care of a player and his family to send them to somewhere where they may want to go? For instance, in Ottawa, Debrinkat doesn't look like he's going to sign in Ottawa. He may, but he doesn't look like it. Now, they have an option. He, he has one year left on his contract, so they could trade him somewhere, regardless of who it is, and he could go there, play one year, and if he doesn't sign, then he can go somewhere else. Or we can, they can find out where he would like to go and where he'd be willing to sign with and call up that team. He's from Michigan, let's say the Detroit Red Wings. His wife is from Michigan as well. And now the one team that would be willing to take him for one year maybe gives you an extra second-round pick, Okay. And compared to what Detroit's going to offer. Detroit just says, you know, um, this is my offer. If you care about the kid, send him our way. We'll, otherwise, we'll grab him next year and he can come along. Okay? So let's say you go and trade him to Detroit. You take one second round pick less. And he goes there and the kid's happy. And that gets around the league. Okay? If you do stuff like that, and there's general managers who definitely do it. I'll just stick with one. Lou Lamorello does this all the time. Another one would be Waddell in Carolina. In fact, that's the ownership's philosophy. They want their players to be happy. Even if they're exiting, they will try to take care of them as much as they can. And you say, well, why would you take less? Well, if you were a player and you were willing going to sign with the team, Say the money is equal or close to equal, even maybe short of half a million. Which team would you go to? The one that's going to, if they decide to trade you, take care of you, or the one that's not, right? And on the so here's another thing: you've got players to sign as well in in Ottawa. They got a couple of players there, like Pinto, and uh, uh, there's one other one, but I, I I can't remember who it was. But very important players, anyways. If you go to them and say, look, you know, let's work out a contract. Are you going to take less to play for a team? Like, say, you'd say, okay, I'll take less. You guys treat people well. I like what you did to, to, to bring that. I'll, I'll drop 500000 to stick around here because I know you're going to be taking care of me down the road. Now, if you don't do that, I think, it, would you not think a player either may go, no, I'm not taking a... In fact, give me an NTC. I want as much as I can. Or maybe I decide to move on to, like, Carolina instead, where I know if the shit hits a fan, say a young kid takes my spot, and they go, you know what? It's we got to give it to the young kid. We're going to take care of you. I'm going to go there. You see the value? Where is the value? Dude, you, you lost out on a second-round pick. But in the long run, are you not getting more value by take, taking care of the players on the way out? just as well as you do on the ones that are in there. Tell me in the comment section what you think. Because when I did my second poll, and you can find it at my Twitter, that everybody said, no, you never take less. Never, 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 never. I think there's one or two people that, that did say that you would, do that you would do that. Never, never, never. But 
when I said, would you, if you were a player, would you go to a team that takes care of you? Everybody said yes. See what I'm saying? Tell me what you think. I thought it was interesting. Have a great day, everybody. BePalPicks.com. The reason why I'm not giving you a pick right now is I am totally transparent and honest. I've been cold the last three days. It hasn't been well. It hasn't gone well. I've been red the last three days. I'm still up. We're still at 420 units for the season, but uh, since the beginning of the hockey season, but it's been a little chilly. So I'm going to wait till I get a little hotter, and then I'll start bringing you back in. So don't bother going to BPAL. I'm not going to tell you the link right now unless I would rather you come in when we're back on track again. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy your sports, whatever you watch. I'll be watching the playoffs tonight. I do lean towards Dallas tonight. But, like I said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the picks. I do want to hear what you have to say about this, though. Okay, bye.